modo manual. Además, la incomparable tecnología del casete. ¡Mira! ¡Tengo un casete! Mi papá lo usa para escuchar su música. Ok, quiero escuchar la canción favorita de papá. I know it's the first song, so I need to rewind. Um, pero, pero, uh, ¿dónde está el botón? Um, uh, ok, um, entonces, modo manual, I guess. A ver. Bueno. <laughs> ah, muy bien. Ya casi. Es muy complicado. Mejor uso mi iPhone para escuchar música. Hey Mia, play Dad's favorite song. <laughs> Esto sí es tecnología moderna. Hola, mi gente. I thought I was a techie person because I use technology for so many things, but I gotta say that cassette got the best of me. That's not how I use technology. I wonder, what activities do you and your family use technology for? Let's talk about it in this lesson. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to Describe how you and your family use technology using new expressions. You are going to be taking notes in this lesson, so make sure you have a copy of page 4 of the PDF to write down key details. Are you ready? Vámonos! my friend, as usual, I want to get you talking right away by asking you a question. But today, I'd like you to come up with the question we are going to answer. I said that we are going to talk about how you use technology. So what would you ask someone to find out how they use technology? Think about it. And in step one of your PDF sheet, Write how you think you should ask that question in Spanish. Got it? The way you actually ask the question is, ¿Cómo usas la tecnología? Does your question look similar to this one? It's okay if it doesn't. So make sure to write it down on the corresponding space on your sheet. Now, say the question after me. ¿Cómo usas la tecnología? Good! For the answer, you would need to explain what you do with a specific tech gadget. You already learned some devices in the previous lesson, so let's play a memory game to focus on some activities. I'm going to flip two of these cards to match the photo of a tech-related activity to the Spanish words that name them. Once we have a match, you can write the name of the activity under the corresponding photo on step two of your sheet. Don't worry, you might remember we played a similar game before, and I'm going to help you. Here we go! For the first activity, we have this photo and the words tomar fotos. Use your knowledge of cognates and tell me if we have a match. Yes, we have a match. Tomar fotos is how you'd describe what the person in the image is doing with the camera. 
Say tomar fotos with me. Tomar fotos. Now, write it down. Muy bien. Here is another one. We have this photo and the words mirar videos. You may remember that mirar means to see, to look, or to watch. So, do you think that photo matches those words? If you said no, then you are right. That activity is not called mirar videos. Let me flip a card to help you. Now that photo is showing someone doing the activity of mirar videos. Say mirar videos with me. Mirar videos. Good job! Next, we have this photo of someone texting. What words do you think are going to be on the next card? Let's see. We have buscar información en línea. Is this what you thought? Hmm. Do you think that buscar información en línea describes what you see in the photo? No, those words don't explain the photo. So let's flip another card. This one says textear. Look at the photo and the words. Do we have a match? Yes, my friend. Textear is how you say texting in Spanish. Textear. Say it with me. Textear. Excelente! Now, we have a photo of someone doing homework and a card with the phrase hacer tareas. Do you think those words mean to do homework? Yes, it's a match. The photo is showing the action of hacer tareas. Hacer tareas. Now you say it. Muy bien. You're doing great. Here's another one. We have this image with the phrase ver programas. Ver means to see, to look, or to watch. A minute ago, I mentioned another word that also means the same. Try to remember what it was. It was mirar. Mirar and ver have the same meaning. So you could say mirar programas or ver programas. Now, do you think we have a match here? No, we don't. Ver programas is not how we say search online in Spanish, as shown in the photo. I'll help you. Now that's a match. Buscar información en línea means to look for information online. Buscar información en línea. Now you say it. Now let's see what we have left. Our final match. Ver programas is Spanish for watching programs. Say, ver programas with me. Ver programas. Great job. Here you have all the activities in case you missed one. And let's say them together to work on your pronunciation. Tomar fotos. Mirar videos. Textear. Hacer tareas. Buscar información en línea. Ver programas. All right, my friend. Now, when someone asks you, ¿Cómo usas la tecnología? You can use those activities to help you answer. The question might even be about how you use a specific gadget and not just technology in general. 
For example, what do you use the computer for? ¿Para qué usas el computador? You would answer by mentioning the device and the activity you do on it, like this. Yo uso la computadora para hacer tareas. Can you remind me again what hacer tareas means? It means to do homework. Very good. So, say both the question and answer with me. ¿Para qué usas el computador? Yo uso la computadora para hacer tareas. Now, I'm going to ask you questions and you're going to answer either about you or about a family member. It doesn't have to be with real information. You can make it up. I just want to hear you speak Spanish. You may pause if you need to. So, ¿para qué usas el internet? Maybe you said, uso el internet para mirar videos. That can be fun. Bien, now, ¿para qué tu hermano usa el celular? About my brother, I could say, él usa el celular para textear con sus amigos. Pretend you have a brother who does the same thing and say this answer. Good job! Last question. ¿Para qué tú y tu familia usan la tele? Maybe your family is similar to mine when it comes to the TV. Nosotros usamos la tele para ver programas de deportes. Por ejemplo, fútbol, básquetbol y fútbol americano. Try saying this after me. Nosotros usamos la tele para ver programas de deportes. Por ejemplo, fútbol, básquetbol y fútbol americano. Super excelente. This is everything you just said without reading. Isn't that great? Now, I would like you to choose three of these devices and say how you, someone in your family, or someone you know, uses those devices. Pause the video and use your PDF sheet for help. Thank you for trying your best. Now, let's recap what you learned. In this lesson, you learned to ask and answer questions about how you and your family may use technology with new vocabulary. I know there's so much more you'd like to say, and you'll get a chance to do that and practice more as you complete the PDF activities. See you next class. Chao, nos vemos. Hey, hey.